and uh, foreign languages. And we sincerely hope that this stupid guy has a different job. <laughs> Natürlich gab es ja auch, er geht ja nie an. Und ähm, so ging er für ein Jahr nach Philadelphia zu unseren Tagen. Das war seine erste Auslandsstation. So, of course, as we all know, Misha, he didn't give up. He never gives up. So, what he did, he organized it privately and visited his aunt in Philadelphia for one year and also made his high school exam in the United States. Es folgten in Rotterdam. Singapur, Hongkong und Wuxi und die wichtigste Stadt Shanghai, denn dort traf er Ellen. So, a couple of other cities uh, were following. He was studying in Rotterdam and Hong Kong and uh, he lived in Wuxi in China. But the most important place, of course, was Shanghai because that is the city where he finally met his wife. <laughs> So from the first second, Ellie really caught and won Misha's heart, and when we get to know her, the same thing happened with us. And uh, that was because uh, Ellie is not only beautiful, but very intelligent and, and warm-hearted, and uh, she's ready to do any nonsense with our children. <laughs> and so she won us in a second. Unsere Tochter, die dreieinhalb Jahre alt ist, Mina, sie sprach eine lange, eine lange Zeit von Michelle als ein Wort. <laughs> Und ich denke, das steht ähm, symbolisch für die Innigkeit dieser Beziehung. So, Mila, this little beautiful girl here, our three and a half year old daughter, she uh, never experienced Misha without Ellie. So, uh, she, for her, it wasn't one and the same, and she called it Michelle. <laughs> it was just one word. And that, for us, is also a symbol for the uh, special relationship and the unity of these two people. Ihr seid beide offen für das Anderssein des Partners. Ihr seid neugierig, ehrlich neugierig auf die anderen Seite, auf die andere Sprache und andere Kultur. Und so vervollständigt er perfekt unsere russisch, jüdisch, deutsche Gespräche. You are a wonderful couple, and um, it's it's interesting to see that you are both very much open-minded and interested in each other's culture and, and families and, and lifestyles. And so that all together completes our uh, Jewish, uh, Russian, German, and now more and more American family. So um, maybe without um, translating it, you understand this was about love, about happiness. We love that you are a part of our family. We are happy for you. We wish you all the best. And uh, we couldn't uh, choose a better partner for Misha. And so we would like to say, not at
Allie, I am so lucky and grateful that you are my sister. You are the person that I talk to every day. Our converse very, conversations vary from stimulating topics such as what's going on in the world and our lives to banal chit chat such as, today I'm craving waffles. <laughs> You're the person I come to when I have good news to share and when I'm upset. Through this, you have given me the best advice that anyone ever has. No matter the mood, you always tell me. What are you gonna do? Cry about it or dance about it? Nothing in life should be taken too seriously and you have a way of putting things into perspective. I couldn't ask for a better sister or a better friend. All I want for you is your happiness. I remember when you first told me about Michael. He told me about this super interesting guy who spoke in eight languages. He's Jewish and he was just great to talk to. The only problem was that he lived in China. <laughs> me, of course, being the ever supportive big sister that I always am, said something along the lines of, that's nice, move on. <laughs> I'm so glad that you did not listen to me. Because ever since you met Michael, you have been wearing the world's most beautiful ear-to-ear -ear grin that I hope you never take off. When the two of you started dating, Allie told me that Michael wanted to talk to me because he had some questions about exercise or nutrition or something like that. I agreed to talk to him, thinking that he was trying, thinking that he was trying to get in good with Allie's big sister, which, by the way, was a great move. <laughs> Our first conversation got us off to an interesting start. Michael was asking me about how to gain weight and what foods and exercises he should, would be best for him. He asked me, to gain weight, what do you think about X? But I misunderstood him or misheard him, so I said, what? He repeated himself about three times. To gain weight, what do you think about X? In my head, I'm thinking, Allison, who are you dating? <laughs> so I finally asked, Michael, are you asking me about X to see? <laughs> Horrified, he responds, no, 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 X, A, G, G, S. <laughs> now I'm horrified. Of course I covered it up in my ever calm, cool, and collected manner and said, oh yeah, eggs, great source of protein. <laughs> we had a good laugh and we've been getting closer ever since. I couldn't think of a better match for my sister. I wish you both a lifetime of love, happiness, success, and prosperity. But Michael, I need you to remember, Lord help the mister who comes between me and my sister. <laughs> Mazel tov to you both and good luck in Atlanta. I can't tell you how much I'm going to miss having you both in Chicago. So everyone, let's raise a glass. There's certainly no reason for crying tonight, so let's dance. Mazel tov. Go ahead. California, 
Chicago, People's Republic of China, <laughs> Connecticut, Republic of Haiti, Germany, Hong Kong, Maryland, Michigan, New York, North Carolina, Oregon, Texas, and Washington. Welcome and thank you. We also calculated that um, we have a special shout out to Ari Jedwin, who is coming from Chengdu, Sichuan province in China, to this wedding by the way of Frankfurt, Germany, and traveled 8,981 miles. Дорогие мамы и папы. Я понимаю, что всем родителям всегда хочется, чтобы дети были поближе. И э, пускай меня то в Китай, то в Америку, то... Это со мной же не так уж и просто получается. Но я надеюсь, что вы знаете, что все мои приключения и достижения без вашей непрерывной поддержки были бы невозможны. И все, что вы делали, посылая меня учить английский в Чеваркуле или разносить рекламки в Кёльне, помогли мне сформировать сильный и самостоятельный характер. Спасибо за всю вашу любовь, образование и мотивацию, которую вы каждый день вкладываете в меня, и без которой этот прекрасный день был бы невозможен. Дорогие мама папа, спасибо вам за то, что вы выращили Мишу, каким он шел сейчас. В Мишу нам как рак тере я вижу ваше вопитание, ваше сердце и ваши усилия. За годня при сердце детей я обещаю вам, что я буду любить Мишу, как женя, и партнер буду за ним ухаживать. Я вам кормить и буду строить с ним дом и семью, которая будет взята полной любви. За все, что вы сделали, спасибо вам. За годня я официально стала я вам жена на Миша взяла отанеца, отанеца, вашим сыночком. За вас я поднимаю тост и я рада стать вашей новой. Dear Julie and Ellen, I'm sure that after you found out that Ellen is dating a strange Russian German foreigner living in China, um, your concerns are larger than if Ellie would have brought home an average Joe Schmo from Southeast Michigan. <laughs> I hope that your concern were not met. Um, over the course of the last two years, my love for your daughter has not only grown exponentially, but also my love and appreciation for the American culture and family values which Ellie introduced to me through you. From Vernon shakes and VA juices, which I tried at your house for the first time, uh, to your amazing homemade turkey for Thanksgiving. All of the love I have felt every time I entered your home makes it hard for me to find the right words to describe it. I am extremely happy marrying your daughter and very thankful to, your, uh, to you for your help, support, love you have given, uh, given me. if we are even half of the loving, supportive, and caring partners that you two are. 
You exemplify strength, understanding, and have worked so hard and been through so much to build a beautiful life for your children. <laughs> no matter what I do, I know that I have your unconditional support. You may not always agree, but I know you will always be there. You have no idea how much it means to me the way that you've embraced Michael and made him part of our family. Before you even met him, he was invited to run the turkey trot, and you have opened your home to him, giving him parents and support in the U.S. while his family is so far away. Thank you for everything that you do and for everything that you are. I love you. So, everyone, a toast to our parents. May we one day be half the role models that we have.